AB equals to 8 cm and CD equals to 6 cm are two parallel chords on the same side of the center of a circle. The distance between them is 1 cm. The radius of the circle is. right. So quite similar to the previous one. The only difference like I mentioned earlier is that in the previous question the two chords, right, the two parallel chords were on opposite sides of the center and this time they are on the same side of the center of the circle. right. So let's consider a circle first. Here is the center let's say, right, center O. Now there are two chords AB and CD. AB is 8 cm and CD is 6 cm. So let's say this is the first chord AB and here is the second chord CD. Right? These two are parallel, remember? The two chords are parallel to each other. And uh, the other point that is given here is the distance between them is 1 cm. Right? The distance between the two chords is 1 cm. Now like we have discussed earlier, from the center when we drop a perpendicular on the first chord, right? it will bisect it. So the total length of AB is 8. AB is equal to 8. Implies, uh, let's say this point is E. So AE will be 4 and EB will be 4. Similarly, from the center, if you draw a perpendicular on the second chord, CD, let's say it meets at point F. We know that total CD is equal to 6 cm, right? So this, this, uh, this perpendicular from the center will bisect CD, right? So it will... Uh, it will come, you know, we can say that CF is half of 6, which is 3, and DF is also half of 6, which is 3, right? So this is like very uh, important property uh, based on dropping a perpendicular from the center on a chord. And what else we know? EF is equal to 1 centimeter, right? The distance between the two chords is also given, which is 1 centimeter. This distance is 1 centimeter, all right? 1. Now we're supposed to find out the radius right let us assume from o to e right from o to e this distance is x let us assume this distance is x o to e the distance is x o to f the distance will be x plus 1 are you able to follow ef is equal to 1 centimeter we are saying oe is equal to x so what will be of of will be x plus 1 you getting it it will be x plus 1 right OF is going to be x plus 1 now try to uh, draw the line representing the radius there from the center. This is R. And similarly, from here, if you draw OC, this also is R. All right. Apply Pythagoras, uh, apply the Pythagorasian, right? So in triangle OEA, right? In triangle OEA, what can we conclude in OEA? X squared plus 4 squared. X squared plus 4 squared equals to R squared. In triangle OFC, OFC, what can we say? X plus 1 whole squared plus 3 squared equals to R squared. That's it. Now compare these two, right? From these two equations, we can say X squared plus 4 squared equals to X plus 1 whole squared. You can directly expand actually, no need to write this step again. But for the sake of explanation, I'll have to do, right? So X squared plus 16 is equal to X squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 3 squared is 9. So x squared and x squared gets cancelled. From this, we'll get 2x equals to 16 minus 10, 6. So 2x is 6, which implies x is equal to 3 centimeter. So we know that this x is 3 centimeter. But what is needed? The radius of the circle, right? The radius of the circle. We know that radius of the circle is r. So substitute the value of x in the first equation. Or you can substitute in the second equation also, any one of these equations, right? Substitute in the first one. We know that x squared plus 4 squared equals to r squared. So which implies V square plus 4 square is R square. So what will be R? R will be equal to 5. You know, right? This is a very popular triplet. 3, 4, 5. For a Pythagoras uh, triplet, right? 3, 4 will give you 5. You're getting it. X is equal to 3. This is 3 and this is 4. So obviously this has to be 5. Or otherwise, if you look at this, 3 plus 1. This length is 4 and this is 3. So this has to be 5. So the answer here is option 1, 5 centimeters.